In a landmark ruling, the Ebony State High Court has discharged an acquitted 36 pro Biafra activist after they spent over four years in detention. The announcement was made by Fanny Jofo, the lead counsel for the Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOB, during a press briefing in Oweri on Friday, September 27. The activists, all natives of Ebony State, we were first arrested in 2022 and accused of murder. However, throughout the lengthy legal process, the prosecution struggled to present uh, substantial evidence to support the charges despite numerous delays and attempts to push the case forward. The court was eventually forced to take action. In a major development, on September 27, 2022, the court dismissed the murder charges against the detainees after EJF filed a no case submission, arguing that the evidence provided was insufficient for the case to proceed. Although the activists were acquitted of the murder charges, they were swiftly rearrested under new accusations, including unlawful possession of firearms and robbery. It therefore reviewed that despite another court ruling on December 22, 2023, which again ordered the activist release, prison officials refused to comply. Keeping them in custody, he expressed outrage at what he described as a clear disregard for judiciary authority, emphasizing that such actions undermine the rule of law. This continued detention, despite two separate courts, acquitters, is a mockery of the judiciary process. AJF lamented. He further disclosed that after the third acquittal on September 27, 2024, prison officials pointed to new charges filed before the Ikoi High Court as a base for their continued detention. Age 4 called on a Bonin State Governor Francis to step in and address the situation, warning that these actions could damage the state's image at both national and international levels. He urged the government to act swiftly and ensure that the activists are released to uphold justice and protect human rights. The legal battles Surrounding the case, highlights the challenges faced by activists in the region as well as broader concerns about the judiciary process in Nigeria. Okay, this is a good news to the IPOB uh, agitators. You understand? This is a good news. Uh, it has become a very big disgrace that uh, in Nigeria, when court give orders, is either the DSS do not obey or these uh, prison officials, I don't understand. How can we now, we are now in a lawless country that people no longer obey even the, the, the rules of the land. At least we get rules and regulations that is guiding our constitution and everything. Those people who are supposed to keep the laws are the lawbreakers. It doesn't tell well of us. You understand? We are being... Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to put this. Before the international community, we are being looked down. We the other day that should be early this year. Uh, U.S. government referred to Nigeria as a lawless country who do not obey its court order. I don't know why we are doing this. This is not good at all. This country is gradually deteriorating in every level. Sorry to say that. But the way we are pushing, we just pray that one day we will not say, hey, there was a country called Nigeria. You get, if we cannot speak well about the judiciary, we cannot speak well about the uh, those in, um, in the, that is the, the, the prisons, we cannot speak well about the electoral umpire. You cannot speak well about the politicians. You understand? Are we talking about the op the operatives in Nigeria? So what are we? What are we? What are we doing? This is really, really, really not good at all. When the court give order, obey. 
you understand? Because that is the the rule of law. You get you don't you don't disobey a court order. You know, a how do I put it? You don't disobey a order uh, that was given by the court. Is for what? Well, I am dropping it here, guys. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, please. Share this video. Let it go viral. Um, congratulations to Hyper Agitators. Congla congratulations to the art activists. At least they will have to you now unite with their family members. You understand? So, guys, uh, let's hear from you. Drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.